Hey guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And I want to let you know that we're going to start a contest every month. So for the whole year, every month we're going to be giving away some bling. You can get some swag like our B-52 Bucktails, get our Magic Metal Jigs. We're also going to be giving away t-shirts and hats from the TV show. And a few of you are going to win free fishing trips. Join me on filming trips or join me on a trip on my own boat, the Misuenio that I do private charters on. So to qualify for these giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe right here to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, and please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and you'll qualify to win some of these great prizes. Every month I'll be giving them away. So enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you afterwards. Hey guys, it's Dan here. Um, I've been reading your messages and getting your emails, and some of you are asking me some really basic fishing technique questions. And um, one of them was, uh, what's a fly line rig? Um, I guess if you're brand new to fishing, you hear the terms, you don't understand what that means. So really, it's really simple. A fly line rig is just basically a line and a hook. And there's several different knots you can tie to put on the hook. Um, a simple one is a Palomar knot. And I'm just going to fold it in half here. Slide it on. Make a little knot, overhand knot. Slide it through. Put the hook through the loop. Wet the line. And then just cinch it down. It's a very simple knot to tie. It's a strong knot. And then to make sure you have it right, what I always like to do just take a pair of dikes or something, part of the rail. Don't use your fishing guides and pull down on it and cinch it. And you have it nice and tight like this. That is basically it. Fly line fishing just means you're going to use a hook with a knot connected to your live bait and you pin on a live bait and that's it. Nothing else. There's no sinkers, no nothing. That's what's called fly lining because you want to have that line right up on the surface and your bait can move around freely. Um, it's really important when you do fly lining that you should be using fluorocarbon, not just straight monofilament. Fluorocarbon is harder to see. Um, another good knot that I like for fly lining fishing is a perfection loop knot. With this Palomar knot, the knot is locked onto the bait and the hook. And really, it's like a rudder, can't do anything. With the perfection loop knot, you have a lot more ability to um, have your bait swim freely and get more direction. And it's a real simple knot to tie. Um, just make a little loop, put your line through it. Make a loop around there, one and a half times. Take your hook and go through the big loop. Tighten it down, and you can make the loop whatever size you want. This one is just a little bit bigger than I would normally make it, but just want to show you for TV-wise. Go ahead and wet the knot when you cinch it down. And again, use the plikes, dikes, pliers, tighten it up. And then all you're going to do is take this tag in here and cut it. And now what you have is a loop in your knot so your bait can move freely. And that way, whatever direction your bait wants to swim, left, right, up, down, it can just move. And it's a lot looser. It's a lot better than just tying a Palomar knot that's on really tight. You know, a lot of people like to tie pal Palomar knots. It's a good knot. I tie it probably... 75% of the time, but when I see the fish are being picky, I want to get more action on my bait. This is a knot I go to, perfection loop knot. Really easy to use. You see a lot of the guys down in Baja, like down in Cabo, the boats, they don't have all kinds of beads and crimps and all that to adjust where they want um, a trolling, like on a trolling um, lure, where they want the hook to go. So what they do is they tie a perfection loop knot, but make a big loop on it. So if the trolling lure is all the way here, they have the hook right where they want it at the end. And that's all it is. It's just a perfection loop knot with a big loop in it. 
and you can do that too. And I see the guys use them with double perfection loop loops on there. So that way they have two different hooks on there. So it works out good. But for fly line fishing, one hook, no sinkers, use some fluorocarbon and use this perfection loop knot. It'll probably help you the best. All right, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I want to do a bunch of these for you, show you different techniques, show you different knots and stuff and help you become better anglers so you have more time when you're on the water. If you want a one-on-one -on -one experience on how to do this, you can always sign up for one of my private fishing charters or come on, on one of our filming trips and I can try to help you on one of the filming trips. But those private um, four-person private charters on my boat is a way to get just that one one-on-one -on -one type of deal. But again, the TV filming trips are good too. I'll be there. I'll be glad to help you out. All right. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe right here. Leave your comments down below and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and just want to remind you, we had that contest going all year long. Every month we'll be giving away prizes. You still have time to get in while you're watching the video. Subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you like this video and also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm TV Dan on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Enter the contest and maybe you'll want a trip to come fish with me on my boat, the Misueño. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.